What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the AEW Unmatched Collection CM Punk. And so here we have the AEW Unmatched CM Punk pose and out of the packaging. Before we take a look at the figure, let's run through his accessories. CM Punk does come with two pairs of hands. We do get a pair of tight grip hands and we do get a pair of loose grip hands. He does come with an AEW microphone, which does look nice. And he does come with his hoodie, which does have Larry on the back, which I think that's kind of funny. Other than that, CM Punk doesn't come with anything else. So with that out of the way, let's have a closer look at CM Punk. And so here we have a closer look at CM Punk. And I have to say, I really do like this head sculpt. I think I prefer this head sculpt over the smirking head sculpt, which it is a good head sculpt, don't get me wrong, but there's still something off about it. I don't know what it is, but this just doesn't scream CM Punk. It's better than the smirking one, in my opinion. And this one does look good. I do like the hair sculpt on it, although I still feel like they got the color wrong. CM Punk's hair is still much dark, although the beard, I will argue that the beard is almost perfect on this one. The hair is still just too light. Now if we can just bring out the Walmart exclusive CM Punk, you can see. Yeah, there is like, if they were to combine both these faces, they would look just like CM Punk. But there's something missing on both of them, in my opinion, that just doesn't let you see CM Punk in either of these figures. So, yeah, I don't know what it is, but... There's just something off about the figures, but yeah, that's just the way I see it. If you guys see CM Punk in it, that's entirely your, up to you. That's your perception. I do like the fact that they did get his tattoo here on his ear, which it was kind of hidden on this one. It was a little too close to his hairline. This one gets it a little bit better, which I do like that. This is the exact same body that we saw with that previous CM Punk figure, so everything on it is going to be the same in terms of sculpt. I do like the tattoo work that he has on him. It's still very accurate. I do like the makeshift Pepsi logo, which they can't really use a Pepsi logo, but it's better than nothing. We all have his tattoos right here, and you can see it going all the way down. We have the straight flush with the aces. We do have the uh, luck is for losers, I believe that one is. The koi fish, it looks good. We have his straight edge tattoo right here on his stomach. On this side, we do have the Not Cobra logo right here. And then we do have the Sparrow right there. And then all his other tattoos. We have Rosie the Riveter right there. We have the Aroshi Kage tattoo, which again is going on to his wrist tape, which that was seen on the other figure. So yeah, ex it's the exact same sculpt work on that previous figure. He also does have the drug free on his knuckles. So it's st still a really solid look for CM Punk. I do like the overall design for it. I think the arms are the perfect uh, size for CM Punk and I think the body fits it. And then we go on to his tights. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I don't know how I feel about CM Punk and the long boys here. Uh, you can see he does have the Chicago Stars right here going down his tights along with the light blue and red. The stars are outlined in white. I don't know what it is, I just can't get over see seeing CM Punk in long tights after seeing him in trunks for so long. It's just a little bit off-putting. Now, something you might notice is that he actually does have this part still sculpted on where the stars would be if he was wearing the short trunks. So, yeah, that's a little bit strange to me that he kind of has this entirely sculpted. It's weird that they have that, and I don't know what it is, but that's a little bit off-putting to me. But yeah, the long trunks for CM Punk, I don't know how to feel, and it makes this figure look like he has really long legs when, realistically, it's the same as this previous figure. It's just something about the look that gives him this really long leg look to him. I don't know what it is. And another thing that is throwing me off is that there is no sculpting for his kick pad, just like we saw with the Walmart exclusive CM Punk. His kick pad is just entirely painted on, and we saw in the Ty Conti that her kick pad was sculpted. I don't know why they didn't sculpt CM Punk's kick pad. That is very strange. He has such a unique kick pad. Well, not unique. Everybody uses the Tri-Wing kick pad, but yeah, he's known for the Tri-Wing kick pad, but it's just 
painted on, no sculpt work, no nothing, and it is a little bit jarring. You could, in theory, do a leg swap so that this one does have the it logos right here, but then you'd have to have the the logo right there. I don't think you have to etch it off because I think the knee pads would hide it. But yeah, if you want to do that, you can. It's just uh, it's not the best paint job either. You can see the line work is to be desired. It's not at all lined up on this leg. This one, they did a better job of lining it up, but yeah, overall terrible, terrible paint lineup right there. And then we do have the same feet that have the kick pad sculpted on, so I don't understand why they didn't go the full uh, distance and just sculpt his kick pads. It's not that hard to do, and I, would, and I know other characters have kick pads, so yeah, there's no reason why they couldn't do it with CM Punk. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get CM Punk compared to other figures you may have in your collection. Here we have CM Punk posed next to a WWE Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar and a basic Jeff Hardy. And finally, here we do have CM Punk posed next to a WWE Elite CM Punk and an AEW Unrivaled CM Punk. So with the comparisons out of the way, let's have a look at CM Punk's articulation. He does have the exact same articulation as the unrivaled figure, so he does have a ball joint here at the neck as well as a hinge which lets him look up. He can look down to about right there. Head tilt, non-existent, but he can turn left and right. Arms are on ball sockets, so they do go out to the side. They do go all the way around, no problem. Did I say ball sockets? I meant ball hinges. But yeah, they do go all the way around. He does have a bicep swivel right here. We have a double bend at the elbow, giving us pretty good range here on CM Punk. We have a swivel and hinge at the wrist. He does have a ball joint here at the waist, which does pivot side to side, forward and back. Then he does get some rotation right there. Then he has another ball joint here at the waist, which does let him crunch forward to about right there. He arcs back about that far. No swivel here. Well, he gets some slight swivel here at the waist. Although, another thing to note is that because he was wearing the hoodie, there is some uh, uh, darkening on the plastic because of uh, dyes from the jacket kind of bled onto the figure. So that's a little bit unfortunate again. As far as the rest of his articulation goes, his legs do kick forward to about right there. They can kick back to about not really that far. Out to the side, he can go full Karate Kid. Then he does have a thigh swivel really low. I don't know why his thigh swivel is that low. That should actually be a little bit higher. Then he does have a double bend here at the knee. Only going to about that far. I thought the knee pad hindered it, but no, the sculpt. The sculpt is just terrible. He gets bad articulation at the knee no matter what. So, yeah, I apologize to that old CM Punk figure. He, the knee pad did absolutely nothing to hinder that articulation. Then we do have a cut right here in the middle of his kick pad, which I'm not a fan of. And then he does have a hinge in the foot, which does go back, does go forward, forward facing pin for an awkward rocker ankle. And overall, that's his articulation. So it's basically the same as that old figure. So with that out of the way, guys, let's actually get CM Punk posed for my final thoughts. And then we'll wrap up this review. And so here we have the AEW Unmatched CM Punk pose for my final thoughts and overall I do like the figure, don't get me wrong. I might criticize the way he looks because I'm not a fan of CM Punk in the long tights. That's something that does throw me off. It does throw off the proportions of the figure as well even though he uses the exact same sculpt as the Walmart exclusive one or vice versa. It's just the fact that he has nothing breaking up from the feet to the hips that it makes his legs seem abnormally long when that's not really the case. If they had given him like some knee pads or just given him some unique sculpting at his shins just to break that up, it wouldn't look as bad as it does. But as it stands, it does look unfinished to be quite honest. I do like the work they put into his tattoos. That is really phenomenal work and it looks so much better than the Mattel ones. But I don't know how to feel about this figure. I think I was a little bit spoiled because I got the Walmart to CM Punk first. I do like the Larry hoodie that he has. It's really cute. It's a really nice homage to his dog and poor Larry. He's caught up in a lot of things right now. But yeah, 
Overall, I think CM Punk here is a good figure. If you're unable to find the Walmart exclusive CM Punk and you don't want to go through the hassle of finding the Chase variant CM Punk, this is still a really good figure to have in your collection. I think he looks really good, despite the fact I'm not a fan of the trunk or the tights. It's not my preferred look for CM Punk, but I still gotta admit, it's a really solid figure, just like that previous CM Punk. So if you can find this figure in stores, definitely pick him up. He, I think he's worth the pickup. I did get mine on sale on Amazon Prime Day where I did pick up mine for $17 which was a pretty good bargain when I saw it for $17. I'm like yeah I'll just drop the money and pick it up and I'm not disappointed. $17 for this figure more than, more than happy to pay that. If you can find CM Punk and you're a fan of CM Punk uh, or if you just don't like him and you don't care about him and want to have all your other characters beat up on him Track down this figure, just let me know how you guys feel about CM Punk. i really like to know what your guys' opinion on him. With that being said, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews, as well as my Dragon Den channel. We just uploaded a new video there, so you guys want to go check that out. As always, if there's a figure you guys would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments, and if it's in my collection, I'll gladly have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and videos. And as always, ring that bell to be notified anytime I upload a video. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, everyone.